Welcome to the basement of the castle. Please have a seat and get comfortable. My name is Alexis and I'm here to help find the answers to questions revolving around Disney. We are going to start where the magic began, in the Disney parks. Does the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Disneyland contain real human remains? Basically, yes, it does. As you may know, the ride is littered with skeletons. There are two playing chess, one relaxing in a bed, one chilling with his film royalties, etc. But what you may not know is that these bones were once real. You see, the ride's original manufacturers thought artificial bones looked too, well, artificial. According to DisneyFanatic.com, when the ride first opened in 1967, Imagineers, by Walt Disney's request to make it more convincing, obtained real skeletal remains from UCLA Medical Center. As time went on, several of the remains have been replaced with convincing props. A lot of people aren't convinced that all of their human remains were replaced, though. There is speculation on which remains are still there. However, the most popular theory on which one is real is the skull above the captain's bed, as the skull was donated by an Imagineer. But conspiracy theorists maintain that there is still one real body part, the skull above the captain's bed. Cast member has confirmed this and said there are two more that they could not find. Personally, I've only been on Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Disneyland in California once many years ago. I do have to admit that I remember some of the skeletons looked significantly different than the others on the ride, and I remember them being towards the back of the scene and they did look very real. I do believe that there is at least one human skull still on the ride, and I think it's the skull above the captain's bed. Now for our next question. Are the rumors that people spread the ashes of loved ones around the park true? Yes, they are. Another common thing that you might have heard of about Disney is that people often scatter loved ones' ashes on the Disney grounds. This has supposedly become a massive problem over the years, and employees have actually been trained how to handle a guest when they think that they're trying to scatter someone's ashes. The sad part about all of this is that loved ones' ashes are simply brushed up by employees and put in the dustbins. According to The Telegraph, in 2007, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Disneyland was closed after a woman was spotted sprinkling an unknown powder into the water, which turned out to be ashes. Allegedly, the most popular spots to spread ashes are the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, It's a Small World, and the Haunted Mansion. The code word between cast members when someone is caught spreading ashes is white powder alert. If the ashes are found, they are swept or vacuumed away. I have to admit, I understand why someone would want to have their ashes spread in the Haunted Mansion, as I'd like to join the current 999 ghostly residents. We're going to discuss a Disney Channel conspiracy, that Lizzie McGuire is schizophrenic. According to Amino Apps and MTV, it is believed by some fans that Lizzie McGuire is schizophrenic and the animated alter ego Lizzie is a voice in her head. This would kind of make sense since the animated Lizzie shows up in stressful situations, which shows how stress can trigger a schizophrenic episode. Adding to that, there is a theory that Miranda isn't real either. She is also a manifestation of a voice in her head. It is argued that since Miranda goes away at the end of the series on a family vacation, maybe Lizzie was put on medication that caused her imaginary friend to go away. The medication could lead to her being allowed to go to the Rome trip, tying into the movie, but the excitement and seeing how much Isabella looked like her caused a relapse and intense hallucinations. As a result, her parents came and got her and pulled her out of school, ending the series. As much as this ruins my childhood, it mildly makes sense to me. This has never been confirmed by Disney. This is just a theory. Our next theory is a dark Disney movie theory about The Little Mermaid. The first part of this theory is that Ariel's mom, Athena, was killed by Captain Hook. According to Seventeen.com, we learned in the movie Ariel's Beginning that Ariel's mom, Athena, was killed by pirates. In Peter Pan, there is a redhead mermaid that resembles Ariel. This mermaid is unnamed and they do not have a good relationship with the pirates. It is possible that Captain Hook killed Ariel's mom, Athena. The second part of the Little Mermaid theory is that Ariel and Hercules are cousins. Ariel's father is King Triton, who is the son of Poseidon in Greek mythology, who is the god of the sea. This makes Ariel's grandfather, Poseidon, brothers with Zeus, who is Hercules' dad. This would make Ariel and Hercules distant cousins. As a fan of Greek mythology, I believe this theory. 
Our last but certainly not least theory is that Walt Disney has had his head chronologically frozen and might be stored under Pirates of the Caribbean in Disneyland. Walt Disney's dead body is frozen somewhere in Disneyland. Well, supposedly lots of people, including people that work at Disneyland, believe that his body is frozen and it's inside the Pirates of the Caribbean. Supposedly, he created a chamber where he would be frozen and kept there until the time came that there was a cure. His thought was maybe 50 years from now, they could just unfreeze him and give him the cure and he could keep living. On December 15th, 1966, Walt Disney passed away from lung cancer. There was a private funeral the next day and his body was reported to have been cremated and buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park. What was fascinated by the future and the technology it will bring? I'd give anything to be there with you. It is rumored that the news of his passing was intentionally delayed so they'd have time to get his head in the cryonic chamber. According to biology.com, the fascination with the future and the fear of death would lead Walt to show interest in something like cryonics. But you're going to shed a few happy tears. The theory says that if he is frozen, he should remain frozen until the technology is available for him to be reanimated. It is speculated that he is stored under Disneyland, particularly under Pirates of the Caribbean. Part of the theory is also that they named the movie Frozen, Frozen, so that when someone searches for Disney's Frozen, they do not find articles about Walt Disney's frozen head. Is Disney possibly making the movie Frozen just to hide the fact that Walt Disney might have frozen his body after he died? I mean, think about it. Anybody searching Walt Disney Frozen from 2011 and before were only looking to see if Walt Disney had his body or head frozen. So how would Disney hide those search results? By making a worldwide hit film called Disney's Frozen is officially the highest grossing animated movie of all time. According to the president of Cryonics Society of California, Walt Disney wanted to be frozen. The technology for cryonics is still in development today and Walt's daughter, Diane, denied that Walt is cryonically frozen. I find this theory highly interesting, and I'm not sure if I believe it or not. What do you think? Diane, I'm sorry I can't be there with you personally for this occasion. As you can see, there are a lot of secrets hidden in the castle away from the public. Thank you for listening, and please remember, these are just theories. My name is Alexis, and this is in the basement of the castle. See you next time.